Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Asad Yaqub and once again here I am and I am actually with you. I know you're going to you're going to sit in your test and your test is very close and you're going to take the test uh, and the uh, IELTS test is sometimes quite stressful and before the test pre-test anxiety, pre-test nervousness is quite common. That's why I am making this video so that I could be with you. I could give you a feeling that it's not going to be difficult and I could give you a feeling that you are not alone. Asad Yaqub is with you. Let me tell you one thing. You prepared for IELTS. You watched my videos. You took practice tests and you did a lot of things. Whatever, whoever told you something, whatever that thing was, you did all that. Right, you struggled hard and all that, and now you're going to take this test, right? So all your effort is at, at, at one side, at one place, all your effort. Now, I mean, now time is over for struggle. Now time is over for practice. Now time is over for all the, all the thing which you did. Whatever you could do, your best, possibly your best, you did that. Now is the time to focus your performance. Preparation and performance. The first phase is preparation. Preparation is over now. Now you don't need to take any test, you don't need to take any practice test, you don't need to write anything, don't take any reading test, writing test, listening test and all that. You don't need for that. Now you need to focus on your prep, uh, performance in the exam. Remember one thing, if you prepared for IELTS for two months, three months, five months, six months, or whether this is your first attempt or second or third or fourth, it's only your performance in the test that is going to determine everything about your future. IELTS test continues for around three hours. And these three hours are so important in your life. These are the most important three hours of your life because your future can be made within these three hours. Imagine you're getting your required band score then you can just, you know, the only way to get rid of IELTS is to get your required band score. There is no other way. If you're getting low bands, you will always be frustrated. You will be in tension and all that stuff. So the only way to get rid of IELTS is to get good bands and then leave it there. So these three hours are going to determine everything about you. I mean, when you're going to take the test, if you perform well, now forget about the old tests. Forget about the practice test you took and your result in that and all that. Forget about all that. Now your focus is only on that very test. Now you're going to go into the playground and remember, you are not going alone. Your coach is with you. That's why I'm making this video that you are not alone. I am with you. My tips will go with you. My techniques will go with you. All the videos you watched, all my videos you watched, the knowledge I transferred, the knowledge I shared with you, that is going to go with you in the examination room and that will help you score better in IELTS. Now, it depends on you. You can give up now. You can say, oh, I'm frustrated, I'm confused. Accept your frustration, accept your confusion, give in. And then these three hours, who cares? I mean, you can just let it fly like this, but if you have to see that these three hours are going to be the life changer for you, if these three hours are going to be the game changer for you, for your next upcoming life, then you have to fight. Then you have to struggle. And let me tell you, you can only fight, you can only struggle on the basis of your practice. You did practice, you practiced very well, now you got to focus on your performance, perform very well, don't let any negative feeling overpower you. I mean, you can say something. Uh, I just want you to say, yes, I will do. Say it loudly. Yes, I will do. Just say that this is my time. Yes, I will succeed. Repeat after me. Yes, I will succeed. Yes, I will succeed. This is my time. When you say this loudly four or five times, you'll feel much better. So anxiety, nervousness, all these are the feelings and you have to get rid of all these feelings. Be positive, look relaxed, feel relaxed, look at everyone with a smiling face. When you go for exam, walk confidently, talk confidently, do the test confidently, listen to the audios confidently, write your answers confidently, 
fill the answer sheet confidently and do everything confidently and be confident about your result as well. Now, I'm going to give you some tips which are going to help you during your exam. Rise and shine early, in, I mean not early whenever you want to wake up because the test is usually conducted at 11 or 11.30 or 12 o'clock. So you can just rise and shine and then you need to see if it is far from your house or near and all that stuff. Anyways, when you go and enter the examination room, look around, be happy, give yourself some positive vibes that okay, I have come for an international test. This is international English language testing system. And this is a very well organized test and all that. Sit there, look around, look confident and try to get positive vibes from everywhere. Even the posters they have there, right? Just feel the procedure of going abroad has started. Just start feeling it that this is one of the steps. And after this step, next one, inshallah, I'll be going to the uh, uh, visa office, I'll get the visa, then next I'll buy the ticket and then I'll sit in the aeroplane and from there I'll enjoy. Just think about that. This will bring smile on your face. This will bring peace inside. This will bring a lot of motivation and this motivation will come outside. Some people live their life from outside in. Some people live their life from inside out for IELTS preparation. You have to live your life inside out. What you take there inside, you will see that outside. And what you take inside, obviously if it is negative, you will see all the negativity outside. One of my students, he was a day before his IELTS test, he was saying, oh, this test is a sort of double crossing. This test is very, very clever test. This test is this. How can I do it? I cannot do it. This is such a difficult test. I don't know how people do it. Don't let yourself go into any negative feeling and all that. Okay, after that, when they start the listening test, be confident, relax, heartbeat, normal. Just, you know, wear the clothes in which you are comfortable, wear the slippers or sandals, not slippers, wear the shoes or sandals, where you are comfortable and all that and sit there comfortably. And when the audio starts, listen. When you write the first answer, first correct answer of question number one in listening that will give you increased motivation and very positive feeling that now here it comes then go on second question third question fourth question after one section your ears will be tuned in with the audio and the next sections are going to be easier for you after listening test they will collect the question booklets, then they will put the uh, uh, reading question booklets on your uh, table. They will not allow you to touch unless the examiner announces and then the examiner will announce and you can start your reading module. Again, do it confidently. Even if it is difficult, don't lose hope. Have you ever seen the wrestlers? I have seen this. This is a common sight whenever you watch wrestling that one wrestler is being beaten by the other one and he is like crying or he is in pain and the other wrestler is beating him but when the referee comes and referee asks him he moves his leg that is a sign that I don't surrender that is the sign that I don't give in so you should do that also whatever the situation is even if you are beaten up whatever the situation is even if the test is difficult don't surrender don't surrender even up to the last second of your test because finally you are going to win. You, you are born to win. You are born to succeed. And this is one of the tests where you have to prove why were you born. So this is very, very important for you. Do not give in in IELTS test. Do not surrender. Just like the wrestler who is beaten up but he's not willing to surrender. You should go on. This is only in case of difficult test. Otherwise, everything is going to be fine for you. After the reading test, just take... When they are collecting your answer sheets, listening and reading answer sheet, when they are collecting your reading booklet, just take few long breaths like and look around and get ready for writing. You can do something like that, a little stretching and all that because sitting at one place for three hours, that is also difficult. So when the writing comes, read the topic. Read the topic again, double check, discuss the topic in your heart, especially I'm talking about essay writing because sometimes students misunderstand essay writing topic. So you need to understand what the topic is 
and what you are going to write on that topic, how you are going to plan. In one of my previous videos, I told you in writing, do not write any cramped sentences. So that is true here. You can use set phrases. You can use collocations. You can use some, uh, what do you say, words for uh, connect connecting ideas we call them connect connectives so you can use coherence cohesion and all that but don't write full sentences which are crammed there are some sentences they don't say anything about the topic and they look very flowery then you will not get very good band score yes if your target is to get 5 or 5.5 then you can do that but in order to get six seven eight bands don't write any crammed answer right and you must proofread your answers as well you must recheck whatever you are writing okay just see how many words have you written just see if there are any grammar errors according to your understanding you can use pencil for that so just like this you can just do your writing test as well and try to finish a couple of minutes before or rather five minutes before the last five to ten minutes should be for proofreading watch my other videos about time management and all that so this is how when you finish your test come out with a positive feeling a feeling of achievement that oh yes I have done with this test and now let's see what happens let me tell you one thing if you give your hundred percent to something if you give your 100 percent to something then the result will be given by Almighty Allah your job is to give your hundred percent and if you don't give your 100%, definitely you will not get your required results and all that stuff. So be positive, be confident, take this test and one day in future, you will be sipping your favorite coffee flavor, holding a big mug of coffee and sitting, looking outside the window. There would be all snow there in Canada and you'll be looking outside the window and sipping your coffee and thinking, once upon a time, I used to do IELTS. I used to practice IELTS and how my life has changed altogether. So if you keep in mind those times which are going to come ahead, Inshallah. Inshallah means by the grace of Almighty God. Inshallah means if God willing. All right. So that time is going to come. I mean, when the currency of your wallet is going to be dollars, not rupees and your local currency anymore. It's going to be dollars when there'll be some cards there. You'll be wearing your favorite Nike shoes and wear your favorite Adidas uh, jackets and all that stuff. That time is going to come soon. This is the price you have to pay now. Now is the time to sow. Now is the time to cultivate. Now is the time to water. If you paid the price now, you would achieve everything you dream of today. Only the thing is you need to pay the price. If you like this video, hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. When you go to take IELTS test, just think Asad Yaqub is going with you. Just think, just imagine that you have the tips. And let me tell you one thing. I am your coach. Now this is not your test. This is my test. Believe me. This is not your IELTS exam. This is my IELTS exam because you are my students and I am confident about you. So you have to be confident about yourselves as well. If you pass, I pass. If you get good bands, I get good bands. If you get low bands, I get low bands. So you need to think about it. Now see, my own dignity is also in your hands. If you call yourselves to be my students, then you need to come up with your required bench score. Whatever your required bench score is, you need to come up with your required bench score. Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best with your exam. Don't fret. Don't worry. Don't panic. Okay? Don't, don't get any negative feeling. Be confident. I am with you. And this test which you are going to take tomorrow is not going to be difficult. And you are prepared, very well prepared for that. So everything is going to be like roses for you. And you are going to succeed sooner or later. Take good care of yourselves. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. And if you have not subscribed my channel, I request you to subscribe this channel. And I run another channel, Asad Yaqub Vlogs. Please subscribe to that channel as well. And remember, you are my alumni. Even if you've taken your required bench score, you finished IELTS preparation, do not unsubscribe. 
me actually, okay? You are my alumni and I am always going to be proud of you. Our connection is a lifetime connection. It's not a couple of months connection that you prepared IELTS, you watched my videos, no. Our connection is a lifetime connection and this connection is going to become stronger and stronger as the time passes. Take care, good luck, wish you all the best, take care and cheers.